three, two, one, let's go. Hello family, I have a huge video today. Today is February the 16th and this is Adam with the Watchman Adam YouTube channel back with a video. Family, I love you and I want to say thank you for tuning in today. And if you're new to our channel, I want you to know that on this channel, we know we're living in the end times and we're watching for the intimate return of Jesus. Family, that trumpet is about to sound and we're going to be ready to go on this channel. Yeshua is coming soon. This I know for my Bible tells me so. Family, that trumpet is about to blow, and when it does, you already know. Let's go. Alrighty, family, I pray you're all doing well today, and when I say I got a huge video today, I truly mean that. Today's video is so important. And this video has really been over a year in the making, and what we're going to be talking about today is a huge, and I mean a huge sign of the times that we're living in today. So now the endbegins.com posted an article today and check out this end time headline. Today's the day the Abrahamic family house in Abu Dhabi set to open and will serve as the international headquarters of the one world religion of Christlam. Family, hands down, that is the longest headline that I've ever had to read. So guys, what you say we talk about this because this is a very important topic. Okay, family, check this out. Prepare to be blown away. Okay, so a landmark interfaith compound in the United Arab Emirates housed in a new synagogue is set to open Thursday afternoon today in a ceremony kicking off a series of events over the weekend. Welcome to the One World Religion of Chrislam. Family, the One World Religion is here. And family, this is one of the biggest end time events ever, and it's going down today. So after nearly two years of construction, the Abrahamic family house in the UAE is set to open its doors today. And check this out. The complex will house a synagogue, a church, and a mosque, and it will be the headquarters for the long-awaited warm world religion, a.k.a. Chrislam. Family, I can't stress to you enough how huge this is. This is an attempt to bring the three Abrahamic faiths of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam together to worship what they call the same God. Even though the Bible is very clear, Jesus is the only way to the Father. Muhammad won't get you to the Father. It's impossible. Jesus is the only way to the Father. Now, this project was initially slated to be completed in 2022, and the complex will be opening its doors today, so they were a little late getting it done. So the day they're opening the doors, they're going to have an opening ceremony, which will probably be filled with satanic imagery, and that will be followed by a conference on Friday, in which they will talk about how to improve relations between the three faiths. And family, check this out. An interfaith council has been set up to oversee projects advancing tolerance for the three faiths as part of the Declaration of the Higher Committee of Human Fraternity, which, in case you didn't know, was led by no other than Pope Francis himself. Guys, this is really huge news. For years, students of end-time eschatology have always said that the time is coming when there will be a one-world religion. And now, in our generation today, we are seeing it be fulfilled. We're seeing it play out right before our eyes. In my opinion, that should wake people up and show them the times we're living in. And some little facts about this Abrahamic family house. The synagogue will hold Shabbat prayers and services. And family, check this out. I think this is absolutely insane. The church on this complex will not be able to display a cross because in the United Arab Emirates, it is illegal to publicly display a cross. And family, if you look on your screen right here, the building to the far left, they have incorporated the Arch of Baal into the design of that building. I'm not quite sure which building that is. I want to say that it may be the mosque, but I'm not 100% sure. If you know, let us know in the comment section below. So guys, you see, February 16th, 2023 will forever be the day etched in history that the official One World Religion Headquarters open its doors. 
And guys, I'm going to go on the record as saying this is one of the biggest end time events in recent history. The long awaited one world religion is here. And family, you know what that tells me? We're going home soon. Family, keep on looking up because our redemption draweth nigh. That trumpet is about to sound. And when it does, family, let's go. I mean, guys, just look around this world. It's just not the Abrahamic family house. In so many ways, this world is declaring the soon return of Jesus. Guys, everything, and I mean everything, that Jesus said would be going down prior to his return, tell me we're not seeing it all go down in our generation. It's all converging in our generation, the fig tree generation, the generation that shall not pass away. And my beautiful channel family, in my opinion, that's why the message of the gospel is more important than ever. So what you say we close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. If you want to briefly pause this video and go grab your Bible, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 15, starting with verse 1. So in the word of the Most High God, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, it says this. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. And then, my beautiful channel family, if you jump to Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, the word of the Most High God says this, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And I believe we all know in John three sixteen, the word of the Most High says this, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So you see, family, the tomb of Jesus is empty. Muhammad's tomb ain't empty. Buddha's tomb's not empty. But the tomb of Jesus is. So family, nearly 2,000 years ago, Jesus gave his life for us on the cross. He paid our full sin debt on the cross. If you haven't placed your faith in Jesus, I would highly recommend you believe in the gospel today. Time is short and you're not promised tomorrow. And Jesus is coming soon. Well, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. It helps me out so much, and I do appreciate it. And if you're new here, man, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And I do pray for you guys on a daily basis. I really do. And if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from the prayer team, man, we would be honored to pray over your prayer requests. Because family, there is truly power in our prayer. And if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, please email me at emailwatchmanadam at gmail.com and we'll get one to you. Please include a shipping address. But I believe everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Amen. Give us some time to get your Bible and give us some time to respond to you. But I promise you, we will. Thanks, guys. Also, if you want to contribute to the Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach program, check the description box below. There's ways you can do so. A hundred percent of all donations either go to the Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach. As always, I'm going to ask that you please pray about it first. And please keep our outreaches in your prayers. The enemy's really been attacking them hard lately. And we're hitting the streets today to pass out hope bags. And we're going back on Saturday to pass out hope bags. So your prayers will be greatly appreciated. I can truly feel your prayers when we're out there on the streets doing the Lord's work. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Alrighty, channel family. Till next time, your brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, fam.